we got a special guest in the building. Yo, what is up, guys? I'm back. It's your boy, Churo, and welcome back to another episode of Bodega Eats, where everybody eats, and we live from New York City. Yes, sir. And I've been away for some time because I had COVID, but I'm back strong. So today, I want to show you guys a really cool and fun NFT farming platform called Zookeeper. So in this video, I'll be giving an overview on the platform, like how does it work, who created it, the roadmap, and the economics behind it. So stay tuned. So Zookeeper is a brand new NFT farming platform that is a part of the Wanchain ecosystem. And if you guys haven't heard of Wanchain, I would check them out because these guys are making big moves to become a top player in the DeFi space. And what I like about this platform is that this was developed by community members and official members from the Wanchain team. And these are the same people that created Wanswap, a decentralized exchange like Uniswap and SushiSwap. So shout out to the Wandalorians, Wasp, and Zoo community members for helping grow the Wanchain ecosystem. So overall, Zookeeper allows you to earn interest by farming different NFT animals. And the rewards that you'll receive are Zoo tokens, which is Zookeeper's main token for the platform, and Wasp token, which is the utility token for Wanswap. So as you can see, there are a few NFT mascots out right now where you can provide liquidity and it gives you information such as how much Zoo and Wasp tokens you're earning weekly, how much APY you're earning, how much coins you have staked, and it shows you the optional lock period. And to give you guys an example, right now I am staking in the Raging Main Leo NFT and it shows you that I'm staking with the glowing circles, the changing colors. And so right now I am earning about 54% APY. I have about $473 staked. And I'm right now currently I'm providing liquidity for the Wasp and Wand pool, which has a total deposit of 16 million right now. So it's pretty small. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And I can withdraw at any time whenever I want to. There's no lockup period unless you want to, to earn a higher interest on your Wasp and Zoo. But in order to use Zookeeper, you need to provide liquidity on Wanswap. So I'd recommend first downloading WanMask. Uh, it's a browser wallet. And then scoop some WAN coins from Binance or KuCoin and send it to WanMask, which is pretty cheap. The fees are cheap, so you won't notice. And then hop on Wanswap and swap some of your WAN for Wasp and then provide liquidity. And finally, you can hop on uh, to connect your liquidity to Zookeeper and start earning Zoo and Wasp. So it's pretty uh, simple and straightforward. So you may be asking, what's the point of having Zoo tokens? Well, with Zoo tokens, you can use that to buy stuff from the marketplace like NFT booster cards that can increase your APY or decrease your lockup period. And you can also sell your NFT booster cards as well. Um, sell orders are valid for 14 days by default and orders longer than 14 days will be removed automatically so you don't have to worry about that and you could buy silver or gold chests that may contain rare nft boost cards which is sick and more importantly you'll be able to use zoo tokens to vote on community proposals and now moving on talking about the tokenomics zoo will be priced at two cents and you will start to receive zoo tokens on the 16th of april and if you are farming right now You'll you'll also still you'll definitely receive some zoo tokens, so don't worry about that. And there's no pre-mine or pre-sell. And Zookeeper uses a dynamic market cap strategy as a result of the burning of zoo tokens and the use of NFT boost within its farming ecosystem. So the market cap um, over 24 months will be between 180 million and 230 million, which is ranked around like the mid 200 on core market cap. So Pretty cool and talking a bit about the roadmap um there's going to be three phases phase one is a reading action with the launch of zookeeper and then we're going to have the second phase and it looks like you're going to be able to create magic spells and craft new nft boost cards and then we got phase three coming up with utility token phase that's what it's called it's going to be a global nft market and Users will be able to create their own NFT and their own collection. So overall, I think it's just really cool to see DeFi and NFTs being utilized together in one application, which is 
why I decided to create a video on Zookeeper because it just it just looks so fun with having DeFi and NFTs under one platform. And so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you guys uh, think about Zookeeper. Are you guys planning on using Zookeeper? You guys planning on farming NFT animals, which is pretty funny to see. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Budegi Eats, where everybody eats. And peace from the beast.